Okay. That's a pretty cool looking helmet. Plus two strength. That is disgusting. That is so good. That is actually so good. Um, two health stolen, 3% of damage reflected. That's quite nice. But, oh, you get new gloves. Very cool. Uh, right. You still have to equip that sword, sadly, because of your of the strength level so he needs one more strength and then he can equip that i think we can give this over to um, who would be better probably glowing even though he just got that mace because that's piercing damage uh piercing damage goes straight through armor, but it's only four piercing damage. Nah, nah, nah. We'll give it to you, him. Yeah. And I think... Yeah, that'll be good. Solid. And then, lastly, the bow was here. 39 dex. So it's very similar to this previous uh, savage bow we got. But this one's slightly bit better. So at least we've got another bow for Fei Fei once she can equip it. Just see if I can chuck it in here. Yeah. There are still a... Excuse me. Uh, still a fair way off, but it's an investment. I think that's all there was. So many of these bows actually ridiculous. I'm gonna get up here and just kill these archers off. I just want them to stop dropping their items so I can <laughs> I just have too many items right now. Maybe there's another chest or something that way. Oh, I can see the walls of Croth over there. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Alright, kill them all. Maybe if you run over here, the archers will... Yeah, because it's all line of sight, so... Yeah, a lot of archer range damage coming in. A lot of arrows, I should say. Oh, when they're all stacked like this, actually, our fireball and flash will be doing mega deeps. Nice, 35 combat magic for our new wizard. Pretty solid. Bjorn got a strength level. Don't think there's anything you can really equip. Another bow. Really run out of space for these bows. I think you've got room there. Can't wait till we get to Avenger. Oh, and a crossbow? Are you kidding me? This game is too brutal. I think you can clean your infantry a bit. Have that. A remake would be really cool. I don't think they ever will, though, sadly. Uh, Fortress Croft. Why is there a sign for. Oh, no. Bone Picker's Post. Hmm. I think we just head to the fortress, actually, instead of going back here. Would be a 
probably a wise decision. We can sell everything, and we can always come back this way. But yeah, like a um, <clears throat> a remake or just Dungeon Siege Four when they go back to their roots with just much better uh, graphics. I think that'd be pretty cool. They've got the world already. They've got setting. Oh, world is setting, same thing. Um, just have to create another evil and then make the game a bit more unique so it's not too much like Diablo. I don't know if they'll be able to, if a remake of DS1 would be that successful though. Um, it's the end of the game, it is just point and click, but they tried to change that with Dungeon Siege 2, and I never played Dungeon Siege 3, so I don't know what that game's like, but I think they tried to go more towards like console friendly and more, I guess, like ARPG kind of game. Um, but yeah, I agree. They should have just stuck with these like core mechanics, which made the game like really cool. Um, I am looking forward to going and play uh, Legends of Arana once I've completed this game. Got my CDs ready. Just need to install it, and we're good to go. been far too many years since I played the Legends of Rihanna. Yeah. It, I'm finding it, I'm struggling actually with my eight, uh, eight characters. I've been considering just like cutting it down to maybe six because then at least they'll be able to level up easier. Like, for example... I'll have a few decent characters rather than just spread across eight. So I'm tempted, I'm tempted to actually kick out one of my archers and one of my melee folk. Uh, yes, I do. Well, okay, so... A fun fact, you probably remember, like, you had those guys who, like, changed their skin to be, like, lava or water or stuff, right? Do you remember those people? What they would do is, on their own map, they would just boost. They would use the modded spell and boost their character's stats. And another fun fact for you, um... In the game files, you could just press, so you can make a space between where your health was and like where it actually display. So they press space to make it go on the next line, so the health bar was actually hidden. Um, so they weren't actually invincible, they've just uh, boosted for like an hour straight and made it seem like they were invincible. But yeah, they would have all the um, the boss spells, they would just change into a boss, it'd be absolutely chaotic. Um, but yeah, those were fun. And then occasionally, you'd get those people that would accidentally drop their items and you'd get like a thousand damage bow or like a thousand damage sword or something like that. It was a lot of fun. I couldn't remember actually if the PvP, if like you killed someone, they dropped all your all their items, or not. I remember you had gravestones and you had to run back and like touch your gravestone to pick up all your items again. But ooh, that potentially could be a really good uh, heavy play. <laughs> Millions damage chicken spell. Oh my god. I can't actually wait. What I'm gonna do is once I finish the playthrough of this, uh, I'm gonna show off the chicken level. Uh, I think there's a way that I can get all the items 
15 health, 12 for mana. That's actually a big upgrade. And we will pass that over to to, G to Gjorn, actually. Yeah, Gjorn can have that. Man, who, who picked it up again? Oh, yeah. There you go. And do we have room for that uh, heavy plate? Just about. Oh, okay, so yeah, they did drop everything. Yeah, oh, it was good times. I'm so, it's actually quite sad they got rid of their uh, multiplayer because it was just, it was very unique. It was very unique. Like, I guess in some regards, you could say it was a similar death mechanics to uh, RuneScape, like old school RuneScape, like before they decided to make remake RuneScape. Uh, where you just die and drop all your items. I don't think there's that many games now which do that, which have that um, kind of game mechanic. Um, the only ones I can really think of maybe Tarkov? Uh, but no, no RPGs. With Grish. Died oh. the greatest threat to Fortress Croft. But the grave danger of a resurgent of this manner of ancient evil weighed heavily on our hero's mind. Okay. Saying that, um all your hardcore games. Well, like hardcore modes, I guess like Diablo hardcore, Path of Exile hardcore, kind of same death mechanic, you die and then that's it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not. It's old school, but then they upgraded it. Uh, worked on the game. Okay, so here we are at Fortress Croft. Uh, okay, Bone Picker's Post is actually somewhere completely different. So we need to go back and go there. We've got Hall of Skulls, Cliffs of Fire, and Castle Ebb. So it looks like East is the end game here. Go and check in with Captain Tarish. He'll be wanting to hear whatever news you got for us. Or it was getting red was getting just a boat tired of hacking at them skellies all day long. Maybe they'll stay down for now for good with that Krug Kisser Gresh gone. One insult. Yeah, the Dungeon Siege music is it's just on point. Absolutely on point. Majus Jar Jar Durans. Yeah, Majus or Magus. Yeah. Do you know how many people here are merely an eye blink from death's gate? What can you possibly want that's more important than healing the critically injured? Chill down. Chill down, my dude. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Rex Durat? How's How are you doing? We've made it to Fortress Craw. You missed, you missed quite a bit. You missed quite a bit. Um... Been, actually, I've been streaming for like three hours now, so it's my longest stunt at the moment. So I just need to reply back to a text quickly. Um, yeah, so we made our way through the uh, underground... Uh, ruins and there was a giant giant um beholder in there and then we came across Gresh and we almost just died because well no we did die we did die the first time <laughs> um so yeah in my youtube videos once i get that all uploaded you can see that if you're keen oh my god that spell was worth thirty thousand. Jeez. Uh, so yeah, but when we get there, 
But now we can finally sell all this crap. Those boots. Nah, not as good. We've picked up quite a lot of good gear on the way. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it actually. I think this is probably the longest I've gone for streaming in one sitting. Uh, so that's pretty good. Just managed to find the time to do that as well. Uh, okay. We're keeping the Fury's Eye and the Knife because those are two of the items you need for the chicken level. But when it comes to the chicken level, I'll just get a modded map to get the other item because you can't get it with like the GOG or Steam version and but we'll figure that out once I get there of course uh, right let's see what else 30,000 we're keeping that shield this one can go 240k for this 3 plus deck staff like any item which has plus dex, well, any of your stats, plus dex, strength, intelligence, they're just worth a heap of money. Uh, that can go. That's looking much better now. I hmm, might not need that bow, but we'll just keep hold of it for a, a hot minute here. That's worth this. There's no point having us having that. What about cruel duck? What you got? It's more more staves. Music's so chill here. It's so nice. Yeah, definitely keeping that. That's gonna be a massive upgrade later on, I think. Uh, but it doesn't lose its value anyway, so it's not going to depreciate or anything. Uh, it's a lot of defense, but awful stat on it, so... Another giant shield here. So that's cool. I'm keeping hold of this just in case Stead does get 15 strength. He might by the end of the game, but <laughs> not that hopeful, to be honest. Plus that, plus nature magic gloves. It's an investment anyway. That one we can sell for sure. Cool. Right, let's see these spells now. Shock armor is interesting, but it's a duration spell, so it's not, not the best. Lightning blast is pretty cool, but that's 36 nature magic. We're only at 28 with Zed. Can almost use multi sparks. Did we actually pick up multi sparks this person? Well, once I know these yeah. sick devils are oh, sent back to take a look at what I have. Nothing else really convert. That's a weird spell. Changes nature magic into a combat magic for a certain time period. Weird. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize how many spells this game actually has. It's just got a heap and the higher level you get, the more spells you unlock. So there'll probably be spells which we won't see in this game whatsoever. Like this fire rain. I've never seen that spell light ray. I've never seen those spells before. Oh, spike dweller summon. That would be so good. That would be so nice to have, but 50 nature magic. I don't think we're going to get that before the end of the game. Um, it would be cool, but... Right, it doesn't look like there's any spells I can really pick up right now. 
Maybe lightning blasts might be worth. Potions, we'll deal with that later on. And... Ooh, spell books. Oh, oh, actually, we can't use them. It's just so much intelligence. Yeah. There is definitely a handful. That's for sure. I will Oops. farewell once I know these sect devils are sent back to whatever abyss they came from. Sect devils. Those scumbags. This is a pretty cool, cool place. Cool fortress. <laughs> I saw this and I thought it was a lobster. I actually thought that was just like a lobster on that, I don't know what that is, that hide. But it's not, it's like a, it's an eagle. <laughs> uh, okay, that's Tarish we need to speak to. Uh, what does he have to say? 182 men dead. All because some fool couldn't be bothered to follow orders. A scout spotted Second of Woods weeks ago, but didn't report it for fear the other men would ridicule him for seeing ghosts. Uh, but what else do you call creatures three centuries dead, eh? I'll tell you this, though. Those droog helping the sec aren't phantoms. If we subdue their village, we'll have this battle half won. Okay. We've still got that droog village causing problems, but you're welcome to take a crack at it. The droog village. Right. What? Good enough, then. Is keep your this heads quest? Down, and for Azunai's sake, keep your eyes open. I mean, we've been keeping them open so far, so no need to tell us, Tarish. Subdue the Droog leadership in their village beyond the desert to the east. And that's chapter 6, Unwise and called Unwise and Lions. Interesting. Okay. What are you saying? If you fought your way through Gresher's army, you should be more than able to get to the Hall of Skulls from here. The captain sent a detachment down there to look for some women he thinks is captured, but they're supposed to be back by now. I wonder if that's um, Boyev's sister, because he did mention his sisters in this encampment. Uh, Legionnaire Buell. Look, I'm fairly new here, all right? My brilliant predecessor, the Quartermaster, got himself sculled by picking a fight with Sec Commander Gresh. And bloody well don't even know what's in half of our stores. You want something, you point at it, and I'll give you a price. Okay. What's this? Battle Plate of Refuge. Ooh, these um, chess pieces are really good, actually. The low strength requirement, but super high defense. So it's really good for our casters. Um, oh, that's tempting. I did have um, I did have a robe which was like plus three, no plus four strength, but I ditched it. The sisters, no. So. We picked yes, up this yes. character the here, so... You, friend. Oh, shut up, dude. Um, <laughs> there was this... So, if you've not noticed, we had a dwarf combat mage. We ditched him for this guy, Boryev. He was just saying in his message, Oh, I've got a sister in Fortress Croft, but they won't let me in. And um, I'm just wondering... Someone said... Sent, no, this guy said they sent a detachment after this woman in the Hall of Skulls. So I just think maybe lore-wise, it's this person's sister. Because we've not actually seen a woman here yet. You know the drill. Jo um. Right. Oh no, we can't even equip that because I've got plus two intelligence on the Starlight Vesture. Damn it. Do we invest in plus three strength over mana regen? I might actually, because then he'll be one step closer to equipping. I can then equip these boots and then we'll have plus nature magic boots. I think that's probably worth it. 
That's probably worth it. There might be one which is better and we'll keep an eye out. But that's... It's not too expensive either, so... That's fine. Right, so back to this. No one can equip that. Yet. So, that's fine. That's terrible. New helmets and gloves. Okay. That's a lot of defense. And health. Ooh, that's a cool looking helmet. One plus nature magic though. Ugh. Not the best. It's very difficult to find items which are like actually worth using as well. Okay, so we've got new helmets coming out. One melee strength and 12 health. Yes, please. And... Right, you can use this one here. What helmet do you have? Can't quite, but you're almost at a level you can use those helmets. So let's pick up this one here. Oh yeah, Eulora needed a helmet as well. Because you didn't have anything. So you can have this uh, cool looking wizard's hat. Look at her. What a beast. <laughs> that is actually hilarious. we got some... Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Plus two strength helmet! Oh my god, my cat just jumped on the table. Hello. Uh, so I think we'll grab that. And give that to you. Yes, yes. The same uh, to oh. you, friend. Oh my god, Olive. Squeeze me. There you go. You yes, yes. You know the drill. 37 HP. Oh, yeah, it's intelligence based, so I can't give it to my archers. Right. That's fine. You're going to have. Okay, so you'll have like 17 strength once you can equip this, which will be next intelligence level. That's solid. That's actually solid. Um, and then be able to equip all those new items. Brilliant. Okay. That's good. That's good. What about you? Nothing crazy. It's just going to be the same. It's going to be gloves and boots. We're going to have to get organized. I've not even gone. I've not even looked at the weapons yet. Jeez. Right. You're fine. You could get new boots, but that melee skill is probably best. You're pretty far behind. You've got chain boots already, so you're you're solid. You're good. You need those boots. And I guess you're fine for now. Yeah, you need those plus strength. It's the archers which are lacking. I think we're at a point where like we're not gonna find any decent gloves or boots, which are like low requirements uh, for our ranged folk. So yeah, they might be bit screwed for gear. Oh, that is a chest, though. 140 armor. What is it? Two melee, one dex. Possibly? a little bit more armor. Alright, we'll just hold it for now. We'll hold it and 
have a look see what weapons we got and shields and continue from there so we got pretty nice one-handed axe can't really use it because you got plus two strength sword so that's a bit sad subtracts two from strength why would you ever use that weapon it's not that good love two-handers here right okay i think we're gonna stop there for now we're gonna come back yes, yes. The same with a new stream friend. we will get we'll look at the weapons get that all sorted we do have a couple this decent hammer here and a few bows so i could say yes just not on the day how about yourself did you get managed to get an easter egg Oh, I remember this guy. This guy is a combat wizard, from what I remember. But he has decent strength. Bor... Boryev. These fools do not know a friend when they see him. I turn my spells against the sec. But these legionnaires, they do not trust me because I am traveler. Outsider. I know they have my cousin Sikra inside. I must know she is well. Perhaps if I come with you, they shall let me in, eh? I shall be sorcerer for you cheap. Is that good? Okay. So what's he got? 34 combat magic, 20 strength. He's got a heap of strength. Um, let's see. What are we looking like? We're 30... 31 combat magic, I think. Uh, but we're down strength, and we've got a lot of really decent strength gear, which have, like, plus... Well, we did have good strength gear, which had plus combat magic and whatnot. Ooh, that's... So he would have 37 combat magic? I think I might get him. Um, I'm not that committed with low run here. That 20 strength is going to make such a big difference. Alright, I think we're going to get him. We're going to say goodbye to Low Run here. Met him in Glacerin. And now he's being replaced with Boryev. So let's just dump all his gear on the ground here. Boryev might have some, some nice equipment. Uh, oh yeah, we can just hit control and then click. Always forget about that. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Wizard. You were good while you lasted. Let's see his stats. Yeah, so he's got... So that guy's got 20 strength. What was it? 30 intelligence? These fools do not know a friend when they see 26 him. intelligence. I turn my spells against the sec. But these legionnaires, they do not trust me because I am traveler. Oh, you see here. Outsider. I know okay. they have... That guy, he's been doing a bit of melee because he's got 18 melee skill. Eh, it's fine. We'll catch up with the intelligence pretty quickly. So, goodbye, Mr. Dwarf. I don't know what you're thinking. But if you'll have no more of my company, then I suppose here's where we break fellowship. Good luck to ye all the same. Nah, he's not too bad. These fools do not right, know so how much does he cost? Almost 400k? Yeah. You are a good friend to Boryev. I shall not forget. If you go into the fortress together and see what we shall see. So yeah, basically he'll just stand there until the end of days. We can always come back and recruit him again, but there's no point. So what does this... What spell does this guy have? Uh, not, not the best. I don't know why he's got Dancing Sap. He can summon this... Uh, he doesn't even have mana to summon this forest troll. <laughs> okay. And he's got some mace. Anywho, 
You can go pick up all this stuff. Alright, combat magic. We'll drop these spells because they're actually not that good. Drop that. Use this. Uh. Okay. Let's just sort out these spells a little bit. How much mana does he have? He's got 484. Uh, we did lose a whole bunch of rings. I think they've gone to random folk. Just drop that stuff. Actually, someone can have that spell book. God, Crowduck's got already. You've got. Everyone's got a spell book. Oh no, not you. Rings. Suss out where all the rings have gone. Right, I think that's it. Um. Uh, so summoning's fine, but you kind of want to use some mods for summoning. Uh, they last. Well, do you? You don't have to use mods for summoning. There's some mods which allow you to have infinite summons. Uh, so you can keep summoning creatures. Ones which just extend the duration, though they've got quite good duration. For example, like this troll here lasts 240 seconds, which is, what, four minutes? It's not too bad. Um. Excuse me. Uh, it's more so for the buffs. You get spells which buff you, like this, for example, raise dexterity of a party, but like the duration's horrible. So you can get mods to extend that duration by a, quite a large margin. Okay. That's fine. I need to. Oh, I should double. Oh, someone grab that shield. Someone double check what if there's any equipment he can have. Definitely need new weapons for my folk. That's one plus intelligence and gloves. Which you will have. Nice. I think that might be it. Looks that way anyway. What did I do? Target. Strongest. Weakest. Yeah, weakest. Alright, goodbye dwarf. And now... The land of the skeleton drugs. Okay, Zed. Take a chill pill. You just got Ian alive. 